Okay, let's start with connecting to a data source, something really simple like Access. Now, actually, the Power BI desktop can connect to a whole range of different data sources, but this is something that we figure most people have got Access databases around somewhere, so we'll start there. The first time you load the Power BI desktop tool, this is the screen that you'll get. This is kind of our getting started splash screen, and you can see there are some simple tutorial videos in the middle and some links down the right-hand side that might help you get started a bit further. Uh, we've got a really uh, vibrant community going already. Um, there's lots of people on the forums who are helping each other out with different questions. Um, the team can, uh, keeps a blog up to date with uh, information about new releases. And we're doing new releases of the desktop tool every month and of the service every week. So please do check back regularly because there's new updates coming all the time. To actually get started with some data, over on the left-hand side, I've got a link here to get data. That's a really simple way of getting started. And you can see here the whole range of data sources that we can connect to. So tabular things like Excel or CSV, text files, uh, anything in slightly more complex formats, even like XML. And then databases, SQL Server, Access, et cetera. Um, Oracle, DB2, if you've still got those kicking around. Um, and then things like online sources, Azure, uh, any other website. You can actually go and connect to different web pages and just scrape that for, for information. Other applications, things like Active Directory or CRM Online, even Facebook and Google Analytics. And then we're starting to get into um, more uh, connectors to things like software as a service applications. So just as you can in the service connect to things like GitHub or Twilio or what have you, we're starting to roll out that same connectivity within the Power BI desktop. You can also create a blank query uh, if you want to start writing a query from scratch. There's a fairly complex and robust query language behind this called M. Uh, it's something you might be familiar with uh, if you've ever used Power Query in the past, uh, and something that you can look up uh, uh, further information online. As I said, I'm going to start with an access database, though. This is something that's pretty common in most organizations. I've got a simple Power BI uh, sample app, uh, access database here. And when I hit open, the first thing I'll be presented with is, is a navigator. You'll get this from most different data sources. And it shows you things like the tables or entities that are available in the data source that you've connected to. When you click on one of these, you'll get a little preview, just the first 100 or so rows. Um, and you can just scroll through to make sure that um, uh, it's the data that you're interested in. So I, I want to pull in our uh, date table. I can see we've got a geography table, manufacturers, products, and sales. I'm going to leave the sentiment table for later on. And I can either just load this data directly, and that will pull it straight through as is. Or I can hit Edit if I want to make any transformations or changes to that data as it comes into uh, the Power BI desktop. And we'll look at that in the next segment. 